Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here and welcome back to another episode of Zelda Tear of the Kingdom. Uh, last episode we cleared this camp right here and also unlocked this tower so we unlocked this part of the map. So now we can see the whole of central Hyrule. So I was thinking today let's clear these pins for a start for this video. So let's travel here. Yule's in Shrine. So this shrine we also did last episode. Mm -mm -mm. And I guess we also have to explore the depths, depths soon. But I'm feeling uh, not, not right now. Because <laughs> it looks a bit uh, scary actually, all those red oozing things coming out of that hole. Here we have some horses. I still don't remember how to catch the horses, so I'm just gonna run past them for now. Hmm. Do we have some loot here? No, it's just a... And Fox, I think we leave him, we let him be today. No need to kill every fox we stumble upon onto. And it was... I worked yesterday, so I haven't been able to record for one day now, which is quite sad, because this game is so much fun. All I want to do is just be home and game all day. Let's, let's just kill these two dudes before they aggro me. Oh my god, what is this aim? Yeah, you can... You. It's pretty obvious I just started the game for today. <laughs> I do a lot of small mistakes here, but here we should be enough, huh? Yeah, nice. Oh, a boku shield and a wooden stick. I take it, I take it, gladly. Yeah, I will probably keep the stick for now. Here we have some arrows, because I missed those. That's a big dude. Over there. There's some more enemies. I think uh, we need a new bow as well. Oh, still with the wrong buttons, huh? Not much have changed since last time I recorded. Okay, so it's the fire fruit here, and then just snipe them. But I was only on one person. That's no good. Nice little crit. He got that two-handed on him. But this should be this should be enough. Oh, I don't want my thingy to burn up my weapon. And nice. <laughs> that felt good. A new bow, always appreciated. Will this fire end soon so I can... I should drop this and take this one. And before it breaks, just... It still burns. Have it stopped burning now? Yeah. Back to the Boku Reaper. It's a short, short but pretty powerful early weapon, I think. The only thing is the range on it, it's not the best. And here we have a rusty broadsword, so we will actually drop this one for this. And I guess we can use this one for now, just to. And also, I, I think I wanna. Let's see if we we take a if we take a fire fruit and merge it with this sword. Still need to learn all the buttons. 
Okay, then we only have like this. And I guess it's for one hit then. And then it's it's then the fire is gone. Let's try it. Okay, we need we need a real target to try it. That makes sense. Okay. We're at a new shrine. First, the first shrine for today. I think this is what I need to get get my brain going a bit because I'm a bit tired today, actually, from from work yesterday. Uh, okay, and the one in the middle has the. Um... Can I grab them? <laughs> I can. <laughs> so that makes everything much more easy. Then you can just be there. To get this this chest for free. Ah, it's a bad chest. I just have to look out so I don't die. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna build my own car here so so you have uh, electronic wheels that's nice to know for the future and I can't go up here so I need to build the car so let me just do that quickly here and then I guess it's important that the wheels are turned to the same way that looks like it's the correct way right yeah And that way. Boom. But it's built a bit weird here. It's a it's not straight. And why why should I even why can't I just take one of the cars here? Let's just grab this dude. Put it there and then quickly grab it again. Because we don't want it to escape us. Can we maybe hit it quickly? Yeah. Yeah, so so the the fuse I did was only a one-time use. So let me fuse something else on this sword. We will drop this one. Because that's a quick extra damage booster. And then we can go back to the this one instead, Boku Reaper. Turn on the car. Not too early. Thank you. And I guess we should put the motor on here. Because if I drop it, yeah, it will fall, fall down. Okay. So I wonder if one motor is enough here and then we should take the other with us. We're gonna do it like that, just, just to be sure that we don't run out of motors. Okay, and here we have motors, and that's it. Alright, so I guess we take one of these, just to fix the wheel. But maybe we don't even, because this is gonna... I guess this is gonna float in the air, so just... I'm stupid. It's it's a platform there already. I didn't see it. So here we should just put on the motor and then hit it, and then then we're over. It was a pretty pretty easy shrine to be honest. This, and we can attach it wherever. Doesn't really matter. Okay, it does matter. <laughs> okay, it responds. Either way, it wouldn't make... it wouldn't... I have... 
more than enough motors here, so even if it didn't respawn, I think we would have managed either way. Okay. Can we just attach it? I think it's it's a wheel, right? So we need to attach it so it goes on this thingy. Is that attached? Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess an arrow is enough to activate it. Nice. That's clean. Need to be and revive and I don't know what I was saying there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this this thing is done for now. Okay, so that is one pin down. Three more to go. I wonder what this pin is. I don't think it's a um, uh, shrine, but let's go and explore it. I'm wondering if I, I d double pinned this shrine, but I missed it first. Yeah, it looks like that. But here we have a lot of apples. So I actually, it's nice to know where some apples are. So these are like apple trees. So let us just do it like that. Because I have forgot, I have played quite a few hours as you all know, because you have seen me play. <laughs> uh, I haven't utilized the pin system much yet. I, I need to do it when I find places that are good with resources and everything. It's good to do it early. Okay, I'm not going to climb this tree. I, I I'm going to... I'm gonna chop it down. It my it was a bit slippery now when it was raining, and I don't have the um, patience to wait for it to stop. Let's chop this down as well. I was just one apple, so maybe that wasn't the most worth chopping I've done. Uh, this one as well, I think. Two apples, three apples even. Thank you. And some Hyrule herbs. And here we have even more apples. So sorry, I think I had uh, the audio way turned up. So on my uh, on my game. I think I fixed it now. Yeah, it looks more. Yeah, it's, this is a uh, this is how it should be. <laughs> but hopefully, I remember when I'm editing this to fix uh, to fix the sound before I realize this, and um, all your ears are spared. Spared. Do I want to take this? I really do. <laughs> oh, they are already mad. Yeah, I uh, chopped down your home. What are you gonna do about it? Are you done now? Take this apple as well. That's it. Has my name on it. Hmm. Let's just eat some apple quickly here. And also, do I need to run all the way there? No, I don't. Uh, which place do we take first? We go to the left first, so let's go to Lookout Landing. Oh, who is this dude? Talk to him first. Oh, they finally did it. Ah. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. 
It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Okay, so they call Skyview Towers. <laughs> of course, it's in the name. Hey, what's your name? I'm Link, dude. Link, you said? Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha, huh, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Oh. I'm Penn, by the way. I I'm Penn, by the way. Uh, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Tower being activated. I better get off to work now. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've so I've had to flap all over this place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hebra, to the northwest. You will find it near the bridge that leads to the Rito village. Stop by if you if you're up for an adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, so long. So long, so long. We will probably take up that offer later. Not this episode though. Because I guess this is the town. Somewhere here, northwest. Uh, and we're gonna take our time exploring. Ooh, here we have swords. How can I have missed that? So let me... Hmm... Ah, you're interested in a sword. There have, there we have a soldier broadsword, a knight broadsword, and a royal broadsword. They're a bit worn, but they got some life in them. Feel free to take them. Each sword ha handles differently, so it's wise to try out the different types. Dude, uh -huh. I understand what you mean. It's like one-handed, two-handed, and something else. <laughs> we will keep them there for for now. Maybe we will take one of them. We have the claymore. We actually we don't need that one because we already have two of those. Ah, oh. 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 do I really need to? Oh. I'm just gonna skip this. Oh. So I need to train with him. Oh. Forget. It. Oh, I got it. Nice. Ah, we'll leave the other two, because I don't feel good talking with you anymore. Mm -mm -mm. And let's start running towards the the green pin here. There's gonna be a wall, so we wanna be on the road still. I really need to find me a horse soon. Some type. Oh, isn't that the one that runs away? Uh, that's that are a frog first and then runs away when you have killed the frog. Can we kill it? They drop. Uh, they drop money, huh? And then they run away. And then they will probably despawn. Yeah. Okay. This looks like a uh, really. Dangerous place. <laughs> Why not explore it for a bit? <gasps> My god, that's a lot of enemies. Oof. If I if I knew that beforehand, I would have like used a bomb or something. No, don't not that I have any bomb. Okay, the trolls are coming. These dudes looks powerful. Okay, they <laughs> They die on one headshot. They are not that powerful. They was just big, big and scary. Let me bring out the, the two-handed sword. That's something new. Bright cap. A mushroom that grows in caves and glows. Cook it with a glowing effect. So we can, like, see in the dark if we cook with that. Ah, oh, that's, uh... That was something I could have picked up. I see you're climbing up there. Let's just make this a uh, one hit shot, no? Why did the first one die on one hit and not the second one? To the face? That's bad. I 
I want the one-handed, I think. <laughs> nice. Let's do some rushes. Boom, boom, boom. He's dead. You as well? Do you wanna... Ah, that's a bit early. That was no problem. That chest looks yummy. Okay, what did they drop? A riblin horn. An elongated hammer-shaped horn with a hard flat front. Attach it to a weapon to increase attack power. Or make an elixir with it. You can do like hammer types weapon with these. Yeah. I just wanted the to discover it. I don't want to pick it up. Uh, we're gonna save that weapon because that I have a hitter. We don't wanna use that on stones. Thank you. A lot of loot here. Oh my god, I want those. Who are you, dudes? Give me! I want it! Please! Why are you running? Uh, it's probably not the best weapon to destroy those with. Ah, oh, there we have one of these guys. I want my... Boom! Is that enough? I don't have air. Oh, yeah. I wonder what these are. It only makes me want to collect more. That's all the information I, I got. Because it's, it's so shiny or something. And I have four of them now. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not gonna forget the... Uh... Give me the... Give me the frog, dude. And the bomb. Bomba, bomba, bomba. And we're not gonna forget the, the chest. And also the loot behind the chest there. Is this something good, maybe? Spiky spear. I'm not sure if I want a spiky spear. Let's let's change it for that one. And then we're just gonna climb up here. Oh. Thought I would have been close enough there. I can drop down here without falling down. Eh. Yes, it was okay loot. Nothing special really. This is something new. Horribly claw. A talent obtained from Halloween. Attach it to an arrow to increase its attack power. Nice. Is that a stone? Yeah. Here we have two enemies. Let's just kill them for fun. Ah, that's the spiky spear. I want to see if I can sneak up behind and Is there, if I remember correctly from the last game you can do like an uh, execute if you sneak up on them. Maybe you can but I, I got seen way too early there. Okay, give me the axe. Ten arrows, always nice. I don't think we need anything of that. Warm Darner. This dragonfly 
This dragonfly has a special organ that causes it to sweat. Nice. Cook it with monster part for an elixir that you can resist cold. Okay. We have more than enough of uh, cold resistant ingredients, so we don't have to collect everything over there. But maybe it would be smart to, to just mark it for when we need it. I guess resources. Yep. And is that the shrine I'm going for? It is. This dude has things in his on his back. It makes me a bit scared of him. It's like he's gonna yeah, it's bombs, yeah. But they didn't hurt. <laughs> They were pretty weak for being bomb. Dude. What have I done to you? Give me this. I like these fire fruits. Yeah, a bit unnecessary damage taking there. Uh, do we have a... Uh, let's eat some simmered fruits. Mm, here we have a... We have the boot licker. <laughs> He will need help again, and again, and again. So let me just... ...bring the gear even before we talk to him. Hello, the... Ooh, it's more higher up now. That's a challenge. Or maybe it's even easier then, because if we can put it... Can it stand on its own here? No. Okay, but it's pretty easy here. We should just... Take one more. Or even two, because we want to attach two together. Like that. Oh. I attached... The wrong one. But yeah, I can't attach as well. That's correct. That's a thing I forgot. Hmm. So somehow... We want just this to stand up. But not fall over. So please, can you stand by yourself here? I wonder if... Okay. Rethink everything. Just do a longer... Longer one. Maybe it's just smarter to build it beforehand. <laughs> and then... We want it like that. And we want it roughly there, maybe? Attach. Yeah, and hmm. I'm wondering if you want it like this. No, 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 no. <laughs> maybe we can... Uh, maybe we don't even need a third part. Let's try this. I think it's gonna fall when he drops it now. So let's just take one more part before we try. Wrong button, as usual. And then just make it straight like this and attach it over here. Like that. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> that <laughs> made everything break. Great. 
Hmm. Probably wanna... Is that better? Oh. I'm not sure. Let's just try and see if it stands up or not. It does? I hope this should be enough. Thank you for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too. But it, I can't stand forever. I got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go, dude. Okay. I saw what happened. He, like, puts it backwards before he, he drops it. So that means... Just set everything up again. It was like this, if I'm corrected. The thing is, I really want to... Turn it up. I want to have it underneath, not... I want it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Of course. If we... We go all the way in here. Will that help? So now we will probably drop it back, and then this will fall again. This is a bad, <laughs> bad, bad building by me. Okay, let's do it. I think it will fall. That's my guess. Oh. He's standing. Yay. My weird contraption worked. That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All oh, right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Ah. This dude, he's gonna owe me his life if I'm gonna help him with every sign. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this as with my thanks. <laughs> 20 golds. And some food, that's great. Uh, what did it say? Also, you must be hungry. Ah, but I still don't feel like I thank you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from you, from me to you. Nice, a bomb, fla bomb flower. And with that, I'm off. See you at the next sign, dude. I already miss you. Let's continue now. And also, how many shrines, like shrine points, do we have now? Light essence, or what? What it was called? Let's see here. Light of blessing four. So we should actually go back to to the landing area after this uh, shrine because we can upgrade our life or our stamina and i'm thinking about upgrading the stamina because otherwise all this climbing and running will take forever uh, yeah <laughs> ishodag's shrine A windy device. Okay. We should just make some upward wind, I'm guessing. So let me learn. Get the right controllers, as always. Place it there, hit it. Because then we can 
fly upward. And I think, just to be sure, let's take this with us. Because it might be that we need to... Like make more than one so we can fly even higher up. And I'm wondering where the chest is. It's pro ah, it's there. Yeah. Okay, so here we want to build a small boat. Attach it there. Attach two motors for that speedy speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. Now this is a boat. Look at the speed. Zoom. So I guess here you should use the wind. Can we attach it? No, but we can just drop it. Will that do anything? Hmm. Well, th this is pretty obvious what, what they want me to do. They want me to put wind underneath. Or maybe even like this. Yeah. My boat went back. Oh, that's... That's true. Can I rotate it? But does that mean I... Can I attach it maybe on this side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I understand. You should just attach it here. That was pretty <laughs> obvious. And here can I... Okay, so... Okay. But I need two of them. So let me just... Detach. So first of all, before we do anything more, let's just... Bam. <laughs> wow. Give me this. There we go. That wasn't so hard, huh? I guess you can even skip that uh, elevator thingy if you don't want it. So you just... Can I reach this? No, I couldn't. Okay. Then you can't skip it. I could have skipped it if I took the motors with me, as I was planning to do. Okay, so one. No, I want this one. Probably this one can probably be on the inside there. Just upside down. Like that. Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. After a while at least. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm guessing that these new shrines in this game only have one, uh, one chest. Otherwise, I have missed a lot of extra chests. Before we travel back, and now we have a quick traveler, so we can actually go back to the lookout. Huh? 
Water dude. Oh, he has a quest for us. Oh. Burning the candle at both ends. Hmm, Lick. I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Re recently, Pura asked that we suspend our involvement in the search for Princess Zelda. We, res we resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three squads are out hunting monsters and gathering information about recent large mo monster sightings. Uh, they've been sharing updates with us. Oh. Uh, whose squads, Torrent squads and Flaxwell squads of the monster control crew are taking down monsters all across Hyrule. Oh. All squads, all squads found Victor at Hyrule Field and moved on to the next monster in Nekluda. That I know. Because I helped them. They plan to launch an attack on the monsters maintaining at a barrier at Fort Hateno, due east of Dueling Peak Stable. Stable? I want a horse. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Want to know where they were about the other squad? Not right now, actually. How about big monsters? I have... Yeah, I don't really care. I want to just learn about them when I'm finding them. But did my, like, quest log bring peace to Nekluda? Okay. So let me talk with him again, because I want the other as side quests. But I will probably just skip all the text. Because he gives us the information. But if, I'm, if my theory is correct, we will have all this information as a side quest now. Hopefully, at least. Otherwise, we have to read that again. Okay. We read it after. Or some other time. Because... Uh, I'm not gonna remember it in 10 minutes either way. So... <laughs> we want a stamina vessel. Yes. Thank you. That's nice. Now we have one and a quarter stamina. Go and bring peace to the world. I'm doing my best. Nice. Now we can jump up all the way there without falling down. Okay. Let's go to this one. And then I wanna go to... I'm probably gonna do the side quest after. Because they were near a stable and I wanna... I want a horse. Maybe at the stable they can teach me how to capture them because I still don't remember. And I don't wanna look it up because it feels like cheating. Should we just snipe him? Ah, that's... That's great. It's not enough, huh? Ah, oh, this dude, isn't this... Um, I remember him from the first game. Or not him, but these types of stone people. They are living up in the, in the mountains, the lava mountains, right? Hey, don't it feel like it's been a weird thing? One weird thing after other since the upheaval. The other day, my precious hammer that I've loved and cared for since, well... Since forever, just upped and rot rotted. It was beyond fixing, so I slapped a rock onto a wood stick and had me a new hammer. It might not be pretty, but it beats a rotten old hammer any day of the week. That's true, dude. You see me when I'm <laughs> crouching behind the bush, but you didn't see me before that. Oh, that's a bit high. That's a nice little headshot. Okay. I'm really not sure what I want to do here. Try to to turn them on fire. I really want to... Oh, they are sleeping, nice. So if I turn the ground on fire near them... Okay. Doesn't... 
That's just bad by me. <laughs> but they don't see me somehow. Are you a bit slow? Those bombs are valuable. I, I don't wanna just use them on this easy... Easy enemies. Nice. Ah, that's bad. Yeah, it took some damage, but who cares? It's half, half a heart. Two, nothing two apples can't fix. That's a bad shield, I'm not gonna take it. And then give me this. That's bad. <laughs> Almost broke my axe doing that. And missed. I want to fight these dudes because I like their um, their items that they drop. They both the eye and the wing are strong on my ah some skellies. These eyes and the wings are really strong on my um, my arrows. Was the word I was searching for there. And these arms, they are good, but they they break really easily. So I'm gonna take one because. But there you have a sword, and the sword. But this is also br breaking soon. So let me get this traveling sword. I have probably now when I'm thinking about it, I haven't found any Koroko seeds this episode, so I've probably missed a lot of small hide places here that I haven't thought about. And you're here again, dude. You have my support? Yeah. Okay, so this looks a bit scuffed. But I think... Okay, I think I have a plan, maybe. Try to use a big one this time. And we want it to... to just... Do like that. And then... Dude, what are you talking about? Are you scared? <laughs> I'm not doing anything even. Okay, so put this like in the middle. When you miss this one slightly, like how you want to rotate it, <laughs> my brain just gets meltdown. Thing is, if you drop it backwards now, it's definitely gonna fall. So let me secure it with one more from the other side. Just to make it a bit more stable, hopefully. Maybe just like that, actually. Yeah, I think that should be good. Hello, dude. Can I talk to you now? Or have I blocked you? <laughs> there, we can talk. Uh, thank you for helping for earlier. I can't stand here forever. Yada, yada. Try letting go. That's perfect. It didn't fall. How long do you need to wait? Yeah. He's standing. I know you never would have thought of it. Let's secure it while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It will fill my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this as thanks. 
We get food as well, yeah. And do we get something special as well? Puff shroom, that's something new. A mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores. Ooh, I guess poison. And with that, he's off. See you at the next sign. This is gonna make me mad if I see it next time still standing like this. Let me just put it back slightly at least. Doesn't have to be pretty, but it I don't want it in the road. Maybe if I if I build something later. Um, some car or something. I don't want to be blocked by my own things. I see uh, another shrine over there. We're not gonna run to that shrine, that's way, way, way too off. It's after we have uh, collected this. I wanna climb that one, because I think it can be a Kuroko seed up there. Combat training, throwing. That's not the most fun. But we will learn how to throw these things, the ingredients. This shri this shrine pur this shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered the blah blah blah. Aim true and throw the material. I will do that. I will try at least. Your other attacks are in ineffective here. So far, so good. I have uh, understood that. Okay, so hold, first hold uh, the throwing button and then select material. Yeah. Eat this. Well done. Was that everything? Watch the enemy's movement carefully, then throw the material at them. Okay, so now he's gonna move to the left and right. Let me pick all these fruits before I forgot to get it. Oh, you're shooting me as well? That's not very kind. Didn't that count as a hit? I thought it was a really good... Good throw. Oh, that's a bad throw though. And some damage taken. Great. Or do do he? Is it mean that I should wait until he stands still and then throw? I guess so. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. 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 I also want the loot. Can I get it? Hmm. Ah, I can. Oh, because that sword is actually good. So let me drop this. Take some charge and the bow. And I guess in this... In this shrine maybe it's only one... It's always only one chest nowadays. At least the shrine we have uh, explored so far. Nice, even more bomb flowers. Light of blessing. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. 
I don't want to really clear that at the moment. Okay. So, Nekluda. So, if we're gonna do this side quest next, our squad of the monster control crew is heading to Fort Ateno next. It's located in Nekluda, which is southeast of Hyrule. Plan to hunt down more monsters there. Okay. So, southeast, not the north. I don't know why I uh, why I thought north. I thought this was the Nekluda thingy. Uh, so southeast, somewhere here then I guess. Or is because this is not that's that's only east. Hmm. <clears throat> Looks like a far travel. But if I trip. Is that an old body of mine? We'll travel to where we started this episode. And is that... Is that a shrine that we have done? No. So let's let's mark that one as a good target, because that's also... Did the marker... No, that's buggy. Why does it say repair? I don't want... I don't want my shame to be remembered forever. But I guess it does. Uh, okay, what is this thingy? This right here. Oh, that's the... That's the cave. Nice that they show you when you have done... When you're like... Done with some caves and everything. Okay. So we, we wanna go there. For the shrine. And that's also on our way to southeast. Let's just jump, jump, jump up here. We don't have to walk all that way. First of all, just turn around. I really like that they did this uh, with the um, with the ma uh, map posts because just running around everywhere it gets it can be it can it can become tired some really quickly. Especially for you watching these episodes. But that's the thing with this game. Like in the beginning you're walking everywhere. But then you, when you start unlocking more and more shrines and fast travel points. You don't need to walk as much. That's why I also want the horse early here. So, so all this early walking can be at least mediated to to the horse runs instead of my bare legs and taking forever. I need to reach my friend. Here we have a Kuroko. And I forgot the Kuroko seed that the other or the place I wanted. Ah. My memory is not always the greatest. So hello dude. You need help. That much I can see, but where do you need to go? My friend and I got separated. Where is your friend then? All the way over there. Dude. Yeah. I understand you're tired, but come on, dude. That's a long way to go. I will help you. After the shrine, if I remember. <laughs> but first, we need really need to take a look at this place. And I will do this one. You never know if something is underneath that stone. Whistling Hill Cave. Yeah. Thank you. I always... Like, I remember in Breath of the Wild, I I just thought these those type of enemies were annoying. Not, like, even hard to fight. 
but useless and annoying. But now when you can use their eyes to get like aimbot with your arrows, they have quickly become one of the fav favorite mobs to see. This looks like a pretty deep cave. Gonna start here. Nice, a lot of worse. A two pass. This pressure yellow ore contains the power of electricity. It's been known to fetch a high price. And then sapphire as well. Sapphire contain very essence of ice and are worth a lot of money. And here we have electro electronic. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. No. I, I was thinking... Nice. This is also homing quality. I thought the... Um... The electricity would hurt me when I hit them, but with the stone on the tip, it doesn't transfer le electricity. That's nice. Never know if something good is hiding underneath. One coin. <laughs> See? This heart truffle, nice. It restores all your hearts and temporarily increasing your maximum heart when used in cooking. That's such a good little fruit. Do these bombs? Uh, they are growing on the most annoying places, and I want a lot of them. Heads quickly here. But these Brighton seeds feels a bit overflow to have as many as I have now. But who knows, maybe they come hand in some places later in game. Probably they will. Rusty Claymore. I know I can't carry him. Okay, up there. That's not enough. <laughs> but we're gonna go there also. I'm gonna climb here first. Oh, that's those kind of things. And he spits stones. Okay. I'll spit this. Not. Yeah, I cannot hit him for some reason. Ow. That's not kind. Wow. Okay, I will eat something. Let's take this, and I will use a bomb barrel. Just for you. Is that enough to just make me run up here? Yeah. Nice. Ow. Dude, how many stones do you have in your stomach? That's what I wanted. Okay, so he had like a stone outer first that I needed to explode away. You're gonna eat two of them. Okay, or not. <laughs> Thought that would do a lot more damage than it did. 
Can you stop with your stones, dude? I die over here. Now, and boom. Okay, so you just need to wait for that to come out, and then you can crit it, and then he's dead. Now I think I have learned a bit more how to fight that dude, at least. But that fight was not pretty. I'm not claiming it to be... I'm not claiming it that it was a good fight from my part. Uh, no, thank you. Wanna just look a little cricket. Nice, a lot of valuable stones. Whoa, that looks like a dangerous type. <laughs> Is it like electric? Is that why it glows? I'll eat this bomb. Or not? Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay, the range isn't that good for him. What's that? What is this? This is just... The range was better than I thought. <laughs> Give me an omelette as well. Okay. And water is not good. Wow. I'm not sure how to fight this actually. Is that good? Oh my god. I just walked straight into that. <laughs> Where's my bow? There. Can you just do something? Hmm. Two arrows left. Maybe try to freeze him then? Like, how should I be able to hit him up there? He's way too up. I can't even touch him. Ah, that worked. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Not enough. I have one arrow left. Let me... Yeah. Perfect. And then... Boom. Okay. Now it starts to make sense. This has been enough. It was. Shock fruit. When cooked correctly, this shockingly tasty fruit stimulates the consumer's muscles and grant increased attack power during thunderstorms. That's really situational. A stomach stone exposed to high voltage inside the body of a shock-like. It maintains some charge even outside the creature. Cook it with a critter, <coughs> Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. And what do we get? A really great bow. That bow we will uh, save for now, and we also need to climb up here. This cave was massive. And I haven't forgot the, the thing on the other... the way back there. Is this not enough? Oh my god. Can I not... I thought so, I was like... That can't really be true. Wow. What a nice little temple. This is cute. 
this be something good? Wow, rubber armor. That's nice. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. I can rock that outfit. Now we have some electricity resistance, which is nice. Thing else in the back here. So let's go backtrack now to to those. It was like um, they. Was it? What is it called? It was like um, I mean, like small small branches that um, made one place not viable to. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm just gonna be quiet until. <laughs> Until we reach the place and I can show you. There, you see those. I'm not sure what they called, vines, maybe? So let's go there and explore a bit. Yeah, I was like, overkill weapon for this. It did, didn't even break it. There we go. Um, what should we have? We can use the regular sword for now. Okay, this was only a chest. And we're done with this cave, I guess. So let me just... That's a great shield. Um, why do I drop a three shield when I have two two shields? Let's drop that one instead. Thank you. Gonna save that for harder fights at the moment. And I guess maybe... Maybe I should just teleport my way out. I should not because I didn't unlock the shrine. <laughs> so if I teleport I need to walk that distance again. And I don't want that. But for all of you who want to watch something more fun than me just climbing, and here I'm even gonna eat this one so I don't fall down, uh, this will be the end of the episode as quickly as I have exited this cave. But if you want to stay for the, <laughs> for the ending, feel free to do so. Because I might have lost my way now. This is a one-way street, so it's up here, I guess. Yeah. Boom. Nice. There we have it. So yeah. That was everything for today's episode. A lot of walking, but we did do some shrines and uh, helped him fix some of those signs. So next episode, we're gonna start with this shrine and then we're gonna help this little dude. Because he wants, he wants to get carried a bit and I'm thinking why not. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.